Hey there, folks. Had a comment the other day. I want to know how my cast iron collection was going. Thought I'd make you a little video. Uh, out here in my shop, I just found out the YouTube editor's gone, so I'm not going to go running in between the house and the shop. And Until I get something set up, start doing some more editing, I'm just going to give you a quick little tour out here of what I got going on. This is a new shelf my girlfriend got me for Christmas. Top shelf's kind of in disarray. I haven't really got it all done yet, but I'm kind of trying to set up some of my collection out here. Oh, I think there's about maybe roughly 180 pieces on this shelf. Anyway, here, here's a look. <coughs> got uh, a lot of old antiques on here. Some's modern. Some Asian. Corn stick pans. I'm sure a lot of you've seen them in places. <coughs> Got the old Lodge American Seal back there in the middle. Got some animal puzzle molds. Hell, everything from snowmen to gingerbread houses. Modern stuff. These down here are gate marked. Pre-1900 pieces. Waffle irons. Two of my three I got. The hell's going on? I got a little brownout going on here. Snowstorm going on out there. There's a Wagner. These are both Wagners. Got a Griswold in the house. Oh, we got some fancy handled gate mark griddles over here. Predate 1900. Just started buying the new Lodge Wildlife Series. There's the moose griddle. Probably going to keep those in a box. There's uh, four more in that collection, a deer, a mallard duck, uh, a trout fish on top, on the back of a grill pan, like that, a grill with the raised grill marks. Oh, what else was there? A bear, 10-inch, or a 12-inch bear skillet. We got the old computer restarting over here. I don't know what happened. Power was flickering there. That's a Mongolian grill sits on top of a heat source do some braising of your meats on there vegetables kind of an asian thing you got a whole rack of fives under there hanging lodge chicken fryers dutch ovens that's a camp chef turkey roaster cast iron turkey roaster i haven't used that one yet i'm gonna have to break that out this summer at the campground and uh do a turkey a lot of that stuff up there is just miscellaneous Asian stuff. A few lodge cornbread pans and whatnot. Of course, I got my griddles and Dutch ovens down here for camping. <coughs> All kinds of stuff. Got some old cowboy skillets hanging around. Some of the stuff. I got my old stove I'm still working on. Got some stuff in there. It all needs cleaned up. Combo cooker, Dutch oven. Built this little box not too long ago. Moved some of this junk out of the way. Got the uh, lodge cast iron on the top, the lid there. This is uh, my skillets for camping. Got them inside this box. My little cast iron sandwich makers. That's what I take when I go camping along with my Dutch oven. Oh, we got some miscellaneous stuff hanging over here. Dutch oven up there. I think I got like 45 cast iron grinders now. Built some shelves on the ceiling there. We got a dozen more, I think, over here. But uh, I picked them up, just kind of collecting history. A few of them hanging here. I ain't got, got to build another shelf. I got them all filled up. That's a corn grinder. My alma. Got that from Florida 32 ounce. No. Yeah, he made them. That's right. He made them. Uh, YouTube shirt. I'm Alt Steve O. He had them made. That's a corn grinder to grind up grain. Yeah, that's about it out here. Like I said, I got about 200 or so more in the house. Got some miscellaneous ones hanging around here and there 
<laughs> kind of a little hobby of mine. Got a little cast iron bell. All kinds of neat stuff. Uh, something I like to do in my free time, clean it up, restore it. We cook in it exclusively. If you've seen some of my older videos, you probably know that. Got some little mini ones up here. Little advertising ones. Crack, old cracker barrel. You have an old grandma up there somewhere. There she is. We're pretty old. Won't go into all the details of who made everything. Bore you with all that mess, but yeah, something I like to do. It's fun. Uh, it's kind of like a 401k, I guess. Maybe one day I'll either sell it or pass it on to the kids. But yeah, one well, of these days I'll do another video. Get some of the ones in the house. I got a lot of the older ones in the house. Something I use each and every day. Now I even got cast iron plates hiding under there. But it's fun. Y'all got any cast iron you don't want rusting out in your shed? Get a hold of old catfish. Send me a message. Might be able to get you a deal, get you some money. Later, folks.